My name is Dr. Yat Ban Ha, and today we are going to solve a problem from Dr. Yat Ban Ha's problem box. Let's take a look at one of the problems in the box. There are 72 envelopes. In 48 of them, Spikey puts a square each. In 39 of them, he puts a triangle each. The question is, in how many envelopes are there both a triangle and a square? Why don't you try to solve the problem first before we talk about it? Let's try. So there are 72 envelopes and in 48 of them, Spikey puts a square each, in 39 of them, Spikey puts a triangle each. So some of the envelopes contain both a square and a triangle. The question is how many? So if 48 envelopes, so each of these has a square each, and 39 of them has a triangle each. Is it possible that maybe, I'm just guessing, is it possible that 10 of them has both squares and triangle? So one possible method is to guess and check. So I'm really just guessing that maybe 10 of them contain both a square and a triangle. So how many? How many contain only a square? Remember, 48 of them contain a square. You are right. 38. And if 10 of them contains a triangle with a square, how many of them contains only a triangle? Remember, 39 of them contain triangles. You are right. 29. The question is, is this really 72 envelopes? Why don't you try it? So is the answer 10? If not, what other numbers would you like to try? Another method I can think of is to try to do some calculation. So if 48 envelopes contain squares and 39 envelopes contain triangles, some of them, how many? Some of them contain both a square and a triangle. So we know that we have a total of 72 envelopes. So these are the ones that contain only squares. These are the ones that contain only triangles. And this is the one that contain both squares and triangles. So remember, we know that this number is 48. And we know that number is 39. And we know that this, together with this, together with this, that's really 72. Are you able to write a subtraction equation for us to find the unknown? Why don't you continue? 
and think about this. If you are correct, the final answer is 15 envelopes. 15 of the envelopes contain both a square and a triangle. I hope you enjoy solving today's problem. See you next time.